first thing I'll do is get this glue off of here. Just wipe your finger without finger damaging finger the other electronics. So I'm just going to kind of wipe it away. Keep cleaning the tip. So if you're wondering what we're doing, we're working on a Tyrannus Plus, doing a mod on a brand new case. Very pimped out. And it needs a new antenna. So I'm going to go ahead and I just desoldered the antenna here, or what was the antenna at one time. And I got to clean up those traces. Hey, this, since there's no battery in it, I can just get some, just something to scrape it with. This random piece of metal seems to work just fine. I want to get that nice and clean. If you just tuned in, it's like watching Bob Ross, except he's not painting, but he's working with solder. Yeah. All right. Happy little soldering iron. <laughs> so now for this, I got to run a quick calculation. The length of that's important. So uh, I'll actually show you guys my calculation here. Um, you can see I was talking to Steele earlier today about this exact mod, <laughs> so I was teaching him how to do it. Um, so we're going to take the speed of light, 11732, and then we're going to use um, one half wavelength, so we're going to divide that by two. And then we're going to multiply by the velocity factor of this cable, which is 0.69, we use Teflon jacketed. And then I'm going to divide that by my center frequency, which is approximately 2430 megahertz. So 1.66 inches. Okay, so that's one half wavelength in inches. So where that's measured from, what that does is that takes the coaxial cables impedance issues out of the equation. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the base of the SMA here, and I'm going to go down to that 1.6, oh, what the heck's that other dial there? Oh, I was wondering what that other dial was. Different caliper than I have. 1.6. And six six five. So that uh -oh. mark that. But here's one issue we're gonna have is I've got to get it all the way inside. Okay, we right. have enough. So we're gonna make sure that's enough here in a second. I'm gonna so let's make sure we've got enough. Do you want to get? Go, you want to go outside? It's, it's going to have to go through the center. So do you want it to stick outside yeah. like this? Yep, and then we're going to lock Instead it in. Instead of being down inside, you want it to be like that? Yep. Okay, so then we're going to do it. one full wavelength, so we'll double that. Okay. So instead of doing that, we'll double it. Um, so just multiply that by two, and it's three point three three, which is fine. Tell me how you want to do it. Three point three. Hey, is that a marker? Can I use it real, up, real quick so I can mark it? Yeah, but it's a fine point. All right, here you go, bud. I just needed that mark right there. Up, oh, oh. <laughs> here I was tossing it to you. All right, so where is a? Uh, you have wire strippers down here that are nice. Yep, uh, left. The uh, good ones are up to the top left. The Kleins. Blue ones. Blue ones are the best. Really? All yeah. Right. Oh yeah, I use these. So, all right. So we're gonna make sure we have plenty left over, and this is where the shield has to start, right there. So, <laughs> little trick. I'm gonna kick you guys' butts. <laughs> little trick to making this easier to strip. <laughs> I see what you're doing. Little trick to make this easier to strip is just to add. I'm adding a little bit of solder here, and this is Teflon jacketed, so I can get it real good and hot. You can see it start to wick back there. What that does is make sure it cuts clean. Oh, right, when you cut off. Right, the... it'll, it'll end up fraying. So what I've basically done there is made sure that when I go to cut it off, um, that it's going to cut clean. So when I go here, to snip it at my line, I can just twist and break, and it pops right off exposing my center conductor. And then, so I have something to solder to. <laughs> I have no idea what's going on back there. So we have plenty <sighs> Looney of... Looney Tunes. 
plenty of cable. Looks like I can strip this back. Ooh, you might not have thin enough. Is the new Tyrannus mod? Wow, I hope you have one that's small enough for this. These are... Yeah, that'll work. So let's tin that up. down so I don't burn the trace off. It's nice to know you've been off the clock for the last two hours. <laughs> and then... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, got a, I got a hobby knife. <laughs> I need a razor uh, knife. Hobby knife, yeah. Um, this, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Alright, I've got a little too much Insulation. So I gotta cut Don't that cut off. yourself. No, be careful. <laughs> Just make sure I get that good and off there. Did you actually get the part in? Did it stick back down? No, yeah, it's done. Oh, it's done. Done. all right. Gotcha. That, that's done. Cool. And let's just keep. Which are awesome screens, I like it. <laughs> so let's. Uh, I have one of mine, I don't know how I get there. Now we're going to put the cable right between the solder pads. That bonds to one. Oh, we got to go. I know. Right. Through. No, I think you, you got to go start. I you think you got to start it. Yeah. Oh, won't fit? I think because right. of the yeah the size right. of that thing. All right, you can do that. And then we'll coil the left leftovers up there. Let's solder this side. And then this side. And now we are bonded to the shield. And for the center element, since both are tinned, all I got to do is take the soldering iron. Jeremiah, are you putting these stickers on or are you going to put the carbon fiber on? Carbon fiber stickers. And she's, let's put a little extra solder on, make sure she's solid. I oh, know, I got it. I don't think that's right. And that's it. She's bonded. So that is now bonded on there. And just to make sure the center element is attached, I will put some pressure on it, it is not moving, so that is now bonded. And then we'll okay. just pull this back inside, and then you can attach your antenna there. Okay, sweet. And that is, I'd fill that with hot glue or welders that's, or something. Yeah, that's what I was thinking to and do. And then, here's the other thing. You wanna be sure you're not putting any strain, you need some strain relief on this, so this can't wobble around here, because what that's gonna do is it'll, it'll fatigue this and it'll eventually break that trace. I was gonna run it down here and either, like I know they used to, they actually hot, hot glue Yeah, it I would there, hot glue it to the board. I, I definitely do that. I okay. definitely do some kind of strain relief. So when this is moved, it, it takes a strain like here. Now, can we check here. that on one of the meters at? Yeah, if you have a multi tester, the easiest thing to do to. to, to I have one right multi -tester there. Multi tester yeah. right here. And really, what you're checking is be sure those pads aren't shorted, and you can check it. Um, so you're going to go to um, Ohms. Right there, the 2000 ohm setting. 2000 ohm. I'll do a video later how to convert that into a watt, this thing into a watt meter. Need, uh, where's the battery at? No, it's fine. It's, it's working. Oh. It's working. No, no, no. Battery for the oh, radio. No, 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 we're not, no, don't worry about oh, that. Oh, we don't need it. So make sure we got, you know, continuity. And the easiest thing to do is just take this. Oh, you're just checking a continuity one. test. Yeah, right. That tells me if I shorted it out or not. Okay. So I'm going to go here and here. And so, see, I have no continuity. Every once in a while, it's flashing because it's reading through my skin, but no continuity is good. I got nothing. Because if I was touching, it'd be that. Okay. So that means that I'm, I'm showing no continuity. Now, we've got to put an antenna on this before you power it up. Gotcha. And I would glue that here to the board before we did anything else. All right. This cable that we use is RG316. Um, I know a lot of people use the uh, mini coax, that I call it MM113, that gray stuff. I would be very careful with that because 
You can overheat it and short it because the insulation is not solderable. If it gets to soldering temperatures, it will short to itself. It's also absolute junk. So for people that want a thinner coax than this, use RG178 um, with this end already on it. Uh, this is RG316, it's a much better cable. All right, we're just about done with the radio mod and all the final hookups of everything. Just take your time if you're doing this radio mod and you're changing your antenna, as well as if you're changing your case. Um, it's not incredibly hard to do, but it is something that you want to spend a little bit of time and make sure you do right. So we went ahead and uh, gooped some hot glue in here to hold the antenna in place, a little bit over uh, our main connection. Uh, went ahead and epoxied, if you can see, then the top did a nice amount there and then epoxy down inside so it's nice and clear. Uh, use a little bit of hot glue and then also some um, uh, CA glue. I'm trying to remember what we were using here. CA glue to just finally lock in the base as well. So should should work and perform well. I've got a 2.4 on here right now and I'll be using a new VAS dipole for 2.4 gigahertz that'll be available uh, through us soon as well so we're excited to see them come out with that uh, let's take a look at the front it's looking pretty slick so let me get it buttoned up and i'll show you the final product all right so the radio is all put together take a look at it here i got my carbon front face plate pieces from aloft hobbies aloft uh, hobbies also sells the uh covers if you guys are interested in trying to paint your own um, if anybody's interested in a custom paint job we also do offer those through here and again it is custom option and we can actually do this whole mod for you too if you're interested in having it done so i've got a 2.4 circular polarized antenna that i'm running on here i will be replacing that with a new vas 2.4 dipole as soon as alex is done with it i was hoping to have it this morning but we're all busy uh, and that's pretty much it. Everything works. The name's Bond. I did this speaker mod a while back, and uh, of course I have my James Bond music on here. So it's all set for the flying season coming up. Guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. All right, so Alex did pop back in and dropped off a handmade 2.4 dipole. So I've got that on there. They will be working on production on these shortly. So this is uh, kind of a pre-production, and I'm not exactly sure how the finished one may vary, but uh, if you guys are interested in it, leave a comment below in the video, and I'm sure we can get, uh, get some of these made up and get them into the hands of pilots. So uh, guys, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoy the radio mod, and if you're looking to do one of these, we sell the uh, fully customized stone blue edition of this radio upgraded firmware and battery and we can always do something fun for you if need be down the road too and you want a full mod we'll see you next time